frame generation mod for all GPUs. As you can see, we are at 60 FPS in Black Myth Wukong game. And if we go to the graphics tab, the frame generation can be enabled thanks to this mod. Now we are at about 87 FPS, which is just shy of 50% boost in the frame rates. And as you can see, I am using a 3070 Ti that doesn't have this frame generation feature. To install this mod just visit this link it will be in the description page you need to click on this download manual button and under this files tab you will be able to download this mod you need to log in in this nexus mod website before you can download okay so click on this manual download and slow download after the download is completed, you will see this file. You need to run it. Accept. Next. Next. Here, you need to paste the link of your game exe file folder. Okay. To do that, if you are on the Steam, we are doing it for Black with Mythbooko. See, manage browse local files. This is the folder where the exe is placed. Now there is a catch. The Black Myth Wukong actual file, this isn't the actual exe file. See, 362 kilobyte, no. It's in the B1, binaries, Win64, here. I have installed the mod here already. I will do it once again. This is the actual exe file. See, nearly 800 MB. 859 MB, right? You need to copy this address and paste it here for the installer to install at this location right if you are confused of which is the actual exe you can install that in multiple folders okay you need to repeat this procedure for each folder where exe resides so you won't get confused for nvidia graphic cards you need to just click the next button right as I have 3070 Ti, I would have just clicked the next button. This is the best one. If the version .dll doesn't work, you need to check WinMM. If you are on an AMD card, you need to install this option, DXGI file. Okay. And enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs since you are not using an NVIDIA GPU in that case. Okay. You need to check one more option which is the second last one driver signature checks i will show you more on that later in the video but let's suppose we are using an nvidia graphic card and i will just disable all of these and this is the default one for the nvidia graphic card next and install okay Now, when you play the game, you will see that the DLSS frame generation option is enabled. See, even if you are on AMD or Intel GPUs, you will have to select the DLSS option and frame generation for this method to work. It sounds crazy, but yes, it will be fake DLSS, but who cares? Now, let's do it again for Dragon Edge Wheel Guard. This procedure is different. See, the wheel guard game exe file resides exactly in the folder where Steam shows us. You need to paste that, right? It doesn't have multiple exes. Now let's suppose we are on Intel or AMD GPUs. The steps will be, you will select this. As, as I told you earlier, you have to select the DXGI file version and that second last checkbox for signature checks. This is optional. You can install it for NVIDIA GPUs too. It's perfectly safe, but it's optional. If it if the mod directly works, who cares? So if you go to the location where the mod is installed, you will see an additional folder this time. You need to use this. Double click on this, enable signature checks. Yes, 
and yes. And here is the mod in action. That's it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. This is Roy Joshi from Indie Burn Up and I will catch you in the next video.